So we're continuing our discussion of how the human soul functions and we are up to the principle of progression. So I'm with Jesus and we're going to discuss and have some questions about the principle of progression. G'day. So again, shall I read the general principle? Yes, please. Progression is the principle that true progression within the soul can only be obtained through an emotional process that will involve both pain associated with emotions related to error and pleasure associated with emotions related to truth. If the soul denies either pain or pleasure or uses its mind to deny pain or pleasure, progression cannot occur. One immediate and permanent characteristic or indication that truth has entered the soul is that it must have been an emotional process. <laughs> it, is also, it also fundamentally suggests that one characteristic of the release or acceptance of error in the soul is that it also must be an emotional process. So in other words, truth being accepted is an emotional process and error being released is an emotional process. You can't intellectualise yourself out of a belief. Yeah. <laughs> At all, ever, never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> and progress is always, always, always emotional. Yes. And there is no other way to progress. No. Otherwise, we're still with the dominance of what's already existing within the soul. Correct. Because the only way for things to leave the soul is through, through this emotional process. process. Yep. Yes. And it's such an important truth to understand, I feel, yeah. Yeah. that still most of the people who have been listening for five or six years have still not got much understanding of mm -hmm. this, pro this process that, you know, we need to understand that we need to allow pain and pleasure. You know, on the planet today, the majority of people are so addicted to pleasure that they cannot allow any pain. Mm-hmm. And, that, and the problem with that is, is the soul is often full of pain from our childhoods, from our environment, and we don't allow the expression of it. So what happens is the pain levels inside of our soul build up, yeah. build up, build up, build up. They reach traumatic levels mm -hmm. because we don't ever allow their release. And as a result, they, our whole life becomes quite traumatic many times mm. because we're not allowing the release of these painful emotions because we're addicted to the concept that we shouldn't have to feel yeah. them. But they are inside of us and only we can feel them. And, and this is a problem that I see most people face, yeah. that, that they don't understand that unless you allow these painful emotions to be experienced, which means going through some painful feelings, you are not going to progress. Yeah. No, no real progress can occur. Yeah. And, and, and you can tell yourself, you know, there's even people now channeling differently or telling you, yeah, every time I teach this concept, people are so challenged that they want to run off to a spirit who tells them something different, you know, and, and they don't understand that this is the only way you can truly progress yeah. Yeah. is by allowing yourself to feel both your painful and pleasurable emotions. And I don't know how you can say it more, baby, <laughs> say it more clearly or more yeah. definitely. I do know that there comes a point in your progression where you, it's at the start of your progression, really, where you realise emotionally the truth of what you've just stated. Yes. Where you say... Where you give up trying it for it to be something different. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you give up just holding in your back of your mind hopefully maybe it could have been i it's still something isn't it that intellectual maybe there's shift a different I made. way yep. there's yep. A, there surely has to be a different yep. way is yep. what we are constantly focused and on stop looking for proof of other it, there comes a point where you emotionally realize you're emotional when you do realize it where you yeah. emotionally realize wow unless i'm emotional unless emotion is flowing from me yeah. nothing no. will change permanently in my life that's right yeah yeah and it's such a critical point in a person's progression for that realisation to actually occur. And so many people arrogantly assume that that's not the case. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how much you talk to them about it. And, and in fact, most of the people who are not progressing, it doesn't matter how much I've said that to them, they still do not believe it. Mm. And this is why we've recently began some discussions about, you know, so it's 2000, it was April 2014 for anybody <laughs> listening to this at the moment. We've recently begun some discussions about emotion and the importance of emotion and the importance of feeling emotion. Because without, without 
people truly getting that principle, yeah. no change is possible. Uh, you know, love is an emotion. Like, no matter what anybody tells you, it's an emotion. It's not a thought. It's an emotion. It's a feeling within you that drives your actions. When you love something, you, you aren't backward in coming forward when you love something. When you truly love, it drives you into action. Mm -hmm. So lo love's this beautiful, motivating emotion. And, and any changes in our love state are going to have to be emotional. They're going to have to be because love itself is an emotion. And we're not going to change if we try to convince ourselves differently. Now, I've, I've talked about that for years and years now. And the average person coming to the seminar still does not believe that. Mm. They still believe that they can intellectually adjust their life, intellectually adjust their health, intellectually adjust their relationships and so forth without having to feel an emotion mm. about it. And in particular, without having to feel a painful emotion. Yeah. We are so addicted to only having pleasurable emotions that we are scared, at, we're, we're petrified yeah. of pain. Yeah. And, and the problem with a person who's petrified of pain is they'll do anything, including causing the pain, pain to others, to prevent their own pain. Yeah. And this is a very sad state of affairs. When we, will, we're, when we are willing to do anything to prevent our own pain, we are willing to go to war. We are willing to rape, murder, pillage. We are willing to lie, steal, cheat. We're willing to do anything in that state to prevent the experience of our own pain. And that is a very dangerous state, actually. And it's one of the main dangers on this planet. The level of violence that appears on this planet is almost all directly the result of a person's individual desire to avoid their own pain. Yeah. And it's just such a sad state of affairs. We need to learn how to cope with and feel pain without acting upon it. Yeah. And this and is very important. That's, that's what happens often, is it, isn't it, that pain is triggered? Or even, sadly, in the West, we are so accustomed now to meeting our addictions and getting what we want. We're even, we're even uncomfortable with a little bit of discomfort like if yeah, there's a break in routine bit of discomfort we don't and get what we want and yeah. there's 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 rage and rebellion about even just experiencing that yeah and but really what you're saying is in order for for us to change and grow and for the world to change for the better we must all learn to allow the overwhelm of our pain yes rather than have it triggered and try to pre the prevent the full experience it. of it yep yes yep. and for most people that's going to feel very overwhelming because they've never done that yes. in their entire yep. life yep, yep. And yep. so, for, of course, it's going to be overwhelming initially. Yep. But, it, but this is how the soul grows. It has to be overwhelmed in order to grow. Yeah. So you can't grow without being overwhelmed by emotion of some kind, whether yep. it's pleasure or pain. And let's face it, a lot of us are frightened of also being overwhelmed by pleasure. Of course. There's a lot of other fears that can be triggered in that process. Yes. That, unless we're humble to them... That doesn't happen either. Correct. So we've got this double whammy, if you like, where we're, where, we're, where we're constructing our life. We're so afraid of being overwhelmed by pain. And at the same time, we're seeking pleasure, but not too much, not too much. Yep. <laughs> you know, we're trying to control like how much. <laughs> this, there's, a, there's a zone of comfort. Yes. And anything outside on either end yes. is challenging emotionally. Yes. And so we avoid that and actually justify, as you said earlier, pretty harsh behaviour. Yes. Um, right down to killing people. You yeah. know, how many mothers are willing to kill their own unborn ch child mm -hmm. just because they yeah. might experience a bit of pain by having a, having a having in childbirth and having to look after the child? Yeah. That, that, you know, that happens, well, it's documented happening 50 million times every year, mm. where 50 million people feel like that every year. Like, and that's not including the fathers who encourage such things. Mm -hmm. you know? So this is an indication that we are so, we are so focused on avoiding pain that we're willing to kill children in order to avoid pain. Yeah. That, that's how bad this problem is on the planet. Mm. And we need to change this. Like, and the way you can change this is by teaching children how to feel their own pain without acting upon it. Yeah. And if we had programs in schools that did that, that actually taught children how to feel their own pain without acting upon their pain, yeah. 
by the time they're five or six years of age, they wouldn't have any pain. Yeah, it would be so awesome. <laughs> they'd, they'd be free of pain yeah. and they'd only experience pleasure. Yeah. But because we are so focused on suppressing pain, even in the child, by the time the children are in their teenage years, they're now creating havoc and pain for other people generally. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and, and, and the amount of things that we're prepared to do to avoid pain is very intense. Yeah. It is the major cause of all violence on the planet. It's the major cause of all murders on the planet, all, all, uh, um, all um, abortions on the planet and so forth are all caused by this desire to avoid personal pain. Yeah. You know, and it's such a terrible state of affairs. And, and it will not change unless we start seeing that, that true progression can only occur by us allowing the feeling of pain yeah it's so simple it's such it's such an answer if everyone on the planet just did that one thing yep the planet would change overnight correct there would be no war no because there'd be no one who felt painful enough who wanted to, who to wanted avoid to suppress pain their enough. painful yep. enough to go to war yeah yeah there'd be no war yeah you know there'd be and no rapes there'd be no man who feels enough pain to actually con contemplate sexually violating a woman there'd be no rapes yeah because he, he's willing to go through his emotions about that, how, how his feelings about that, how he was treated as a child from his own mother, perhaps, or yeah. whatever. He's, a, he's allowing himself to go through those things rather than actually take that out on another woman. Yeah, yeah. You know, there'd be no violence. You know, if somebody insults you, you'd feel your pain about it. Yeah. Instead of punching them back. Yeah. You know, yeah. Someone, someone violently assaults you, you'd feel your own pain about it without wanting to kill them. And, and if everyone engaged that process with God, truth would begin entering people everywhere. 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 And so joy would be multiplied exponentially. Everywhere. Because that, that always <laughs> happens when truth is absorbed, there's Correct. joy. But also things would be more in harmony with logic, as we've talked about earlier yes. in this discussion. Laws with, would change overnight because yep. everybody would now disagree that that law applies anymore. You <laughs> wouldn't even have to change the law in a court. You no. just... There'd be a new law because everyone would be <laughs> acting in that law. Exactly. And the other one would be redundant. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of laws would become redundant yep. as a result of everyone feeling their own pain rather than acting upon it. Yeah. And, you know, it's such an important message of, pro yeah. of progression and the majority of people still have no real understanding of how much change will result once they actually embrace it inside of their soul. Yeah. Both to themselves personally but also, uh, but also to... So not only to themselves personally, but also to their family, their friends, the society in which they live, their work environment, every, everything around them, the environment itself will change as a result of them choosing differently. Yeah, and I often see um, people around us who are trying to analyse their progress. Oh, I cried about this. I think it was about that. I think that's going to change this. Or I've got to, I'm doing this, so I've got to figure out. And that, you know, it's very um, analytical and intellectual. Yep. When if we just trusted these principles and just said, well, if I'm willing to be honest and self-reflective and feel what's really there and understand the principle that progression is going to happen if I simply allow the emotion that is there, mm -hmm. then we wouldn't have to put any effort into anal analysing. No. We would just feel and truth would enter us. Yeah. And it's only the belief in error that creates our pain anyway. Yes. And so there couldn't be more pain. And so it simplifies it's so simple. everything. Yep. You don't have to think so much. Yep. You can, you're just focused finding the error, letting it go. Finding the error, you know there's pain there, let the pain go, feel yep. it. Yep. The only way you're going to let it go is by feeling it. And you're focused on that. You use your mind to find the pain yep. and to feel it yep. instead of using your mind to try to run away from it yep. try, and try to do all the other things we do trying to get away from that pain. It's, if you really understood progression, you would never avoid a single pain that you had again. No. You'd never avoid it. And sadly, a lot of us have a lot of false beliefs about what's going to happen to us when we feel our pain. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, when we progress, when we really progress using this principle and feeling our emotion, our, we have more clarity and more joy in our life regardless even of what happens around us. Mm -hmm. Even if more figure, fear gets exposed, even if more emotions get exposed, there is still more joy and quality of life yes. within us. Yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, with, within us and in our yes. relationship with God. And so, for, so this is the unfortunate fact. 
the majority of people feel that it's dangerous to feel their own pain. Mm -hmm. And the reality is it's dangerous not to. Yeah. It's dangerous not to feel your own pain. Mm -hmm. It's actually going to be better if you feel your pain than not. Mm -hmm. And this is where I feel a lot of people's false beliefs get really tied up in the whole thing, don't they? Where they believe that oh, oh, if I feel pain, my life's going to get worse. And, as, and they often believe that, of course, and that prevents them from feeling their pain, which means their life does get worse, ironically. Mm. And I find that so unfortunate watching people do all of this when, when it's quite simple. If you allow yourself to truly experience your own pain and release it, it will release by you feeling it. Once that happens, change is automatic after that. You don't have to try. And on top of that, you experience the joy of relief yeah. of it at all being released. And then, but, but in addition, that is the safest place you could be. Yeah. And there's so much focus, I find, on how dangerous it is to, to feel your emotions. Man, the amount of times the media in Australia and overseas has criticised me for teaching this teaching. Yeah. And it's, it's incredible yeah. how much and there, investment there is in trying to have people not feel their pain. Isn't it's that like, like crazy? Incredible. You don't see them knocking on doors of like funeral parlours and bursting in and saying to people, don't feel stop pain. crying, <laughs> stop crying, that's dangerous. Yeah. When in fact, it's, we're really just encouraging people to do the same thing. Every time you suppressed a loss or a feeling of fear or a feeling of grief in your past, simply allow that process now. Correct. And it's only the false beliefs we have about that process that actually put us in any danger. Yes. And there are an immense amount of spirits around us who do not want us to feel our pain because it's through our pain that they meet their own addictions. Or through our avoidance <laughs> of pain. Yes. yes. Through, through our avoidance of trying to get away from our pain, they meet their addictions. So they are heavily invested in telling us that we shouldn't have to feel our pain. Mm -hmm. right? and, and the world as well is heavily invested in telling us we shouldn't have to feel our pain. And why is that? Because they want to sell us something. They want to sell us an, uh, you know, uh, some kind of product that helps us avoid our pain. Yeah. That's why they're heavily invested in it. And until the world gets away from this investment in helping people avoid pain and instead makes products and, in, <laughs> and, so, and services that helps you get into your pain in a loving way and th that, that is not harmful, then we're not going to have much change on the planet, to be no. honest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You can tell we're a bit passionate about this point. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of the biggest problems that we face in the, in the teachings of divine truth yeah. because people think that they can absorb new truth without getting rid of the old painful error, and they can't. Mm -mm. Like, so you, I can speak truth all day, every day, and we can have like 100 hours of videos every week talking about new truth, and the majority of people are not going to be able to have it absorbed into their soul because they're unwilling to feel the pain of their error. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's like knocking on a brick wall, yeah. you know, until, until there's an opening in the soul towards pain, which is like a door in the brick wall, nothing will change. Mm -hmm. And the, the world will not accept truth while it is so opposed to feeling pain. Yeah. Because yeah. all of the error that's in, within the soul is all painful. It's going to have to come out and it's going to have to come out by experiencing it. And there is no other option. Yeah. <laughs> there's no other option. Yeah. There's no other fancy way. There's no tapping. There's no this. There's no that. There's no Reiki. There's no, none <laughs> of those things will cause you to actually get into all of your causal grief and pain. You have to go through it. And, and when you allow yourself to go through it, God's love can come and just make it just wash away so simply and easily. And this is the sad thing because we're so unwilling to feel the pain doesn't give us the opportunity to feel much of God's love either. And we, yeah, sad. and we know from the other principles, like dominance, uh, we know that all of our belief systems, all of our thoughts, all of our actions, everything is going to be based on what is already in our soul. Correct. And so it doesn't matter if you try to find the causal belief and modify <laughs> that and, you know, ask God to please, you know, take it away. Unless we deal with the causal emotion that has driven that belief. And unless we're willing to feel it and yes, experience it. Yes. Unless it's gone from us in an emotional process, it's going to dominate our life. Correct. Yeah. 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 And I feel that this is one of the major things people need to understand about their progression. Mm -hmm. These are the principles of progression that are so, so important for a person to understand. 
And if they understand this, they understand the soul. And these are, and this kind of understanding of the soul is everlasting. Like yeah. this is how the soul progresses. So once you've released all your pain, the only emotions you experience after that are pleasure. Yeah. So so it's going to be very easy to learn once all the emotions are just pleasurable without learning. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. But but if you're unwilling to feel the pain, none of that can actually ever happen. And that's the sad thing. The world is in so much pain and individuals in the world are in so much pain that, that we never engage the process of the feeling of the pain. And then as a result, the truth, the pleasure of receiving the truth cannot happen for us. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that's also a sad thing. So God's trying to share all this truth, all this wealth of, of ex- emotional experience and truth that God has for us to experience we can't experience any of it when we're so resistant to our pain. Yeah. And, and so we're, we're really using our will to lock up the progress of our soul. Mm-hmm. And, and so we're, w- the only way our soul is going to progress is by our heavily, being heavily engaged in a slow and very, very painful process of slowly changing each emotion that we're unwilling to feel completely because we're unwilling to cope with being overwhelmed with pain. Yeah. And... And as a result, we feel a smidge of it, we feel a smidge of it, we feel a smidge of it. We make a little bit of progress because we feel a smidge of it each time. But it takes hundreds, if not thousands of years for people to do that kind of progression. When your progression can be right down 10 years or or Mm -hmm. 15, 20 years, even on earth it can be 15, 20 years of progression and you're at one with God and without pain. Um, So why would you avoid that process when... Doing it the other way can take thousands of years. Yeah. So it just makes no sense at all to mm. me. And this is something we observed a lot from the spirit world, obviously. You know, people making these choices to avoid pain, avoid pain, avoid pain. And hopefully one of the things we're trying to show people is, like, we've been through a lot of personal pain. And, and we've still got more personal pain to go through. And each time we do, we end up feeling happier. Yeah. And that is a demonstration of the truth of what we teach yeah 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 thanks Alan, for no discussing worries. this with me and so i suppose that is the finish of our session today in mm-hmm. the sense of our session with regard to feeling uh, fe- feeling these uh, points about the human soul we've still got three more um points to discuss about this so we'll do that in our next session yep. on the human soul which we hope will be probably next week but thanks for your time yeah, uh, in terms of what's in today. We hope you it. enjoyed it. And thanks again for Igor behind our main camera there and, and Lena behind the other camera uh, for recording our sessions today for us. Thanks, guys. <laughs>